So the Warriors Den livestream went up recently and we got some info on the new maps, the new heroes, and the changes they plan for the gear ratings for Season 2. So obviously from the title you know I'll be talking about gear stats, because I feel this is extremely important for a lot of people who still play the game, since most of the population is in the 4v4 game modes. So let me say that I don't believe the gear is broken right now, but it could definitely see some improvement, and it looks like that's what the devs thought too, so let me get right into it. So first let's talk about the new gear tier. In Season 2, Ferrana will have a new top tier gear called Epic Gear. Epic Gear will have a bright orange color rather than a blue or purple and can start being unlocked once you hit rep 5 with any hero. Along with the Epic Gear, each hero will have two new epic weapon sets and new armor as well. If that sounds daunting for people like me who like to start new heroes all the time, we do have some good news. So the gear is going to be reworked to not be as strong as it currently is. The developers realized that gear could sway the decision of a fight a little too much, meaning even a skilled player could die to someone with max gear simply because they have better loot, which isn't something they wanted from the start. So the lower tier gear will be stronger than they currently are, while the higher tier gear won't be as powerful as they once were, which will hopefully bring a little more balance to the 4v4 game modes and not scare away the new players who have to start at level 1. Also the balancing will be a little more harsh on gear, meaning the penalty for choosing certain gear will actually matter rather than being an afterthought. The next thing I want to talk about are the gear stats themselves. A little thing that I've wanted for a while is for them to change the way stats are displayed. Rather than a few bars that represent how your gear stacks up, it will now be a numerical value instead. So your sword can have a plus 2 on attack and a minus 1 on stamina cost reduction. Also a few stats are getting removed from the game, sprint speed, block damage resistance, feet cooldown, and throw distance are all being cut. Ubisoft stated they're being removed because they were either never used, or were used for cheese setups, or just too annoying to deal with. Another thing is that revenge by defense and revenge by injury are now one stat, so you don't have to decide how you want to earn your revenge, the stat will buff both stats at once. The defense stat on your weapon is also being changed to defense penetration, which means depending on your rating, you will now lower your opponent's defensive rating, which makes a lot more sense than having defense applied to your weapon. Uh, speaking of that, the defense stat will now be moved to your armor. Uh, so the attack and defense stat will be split into three separate categories. It'll be split up between each piece of gear associated with that stat. For example, your attack will now depend on what kind of blade you have, along with the shaft and hilt of your weapon. So you could have a plus 5 attack on the blade, a plus 1 attack on the shaft, and a minus 3 on your hilt. That way you'll have a little more understanding of what's going on with your weapon and how strong it actually is. Same goes for defense, your headgear, chest piece, and arm pieces will now have their own defensive values as well. And lastly, they'll be increasing the amount of salvage you receive for dismantling gear, along with lowering the cost to upgrade your gear. The new max rank will now be level 144, for anyone that was wondering. Um, and that's about all the information we've got for gear stats on Season 2. I'm personally pretty happy about the changes they made. I feel it'll make choosing your gear actually matter, rather than picking one that gives you the most revenge, or the one that buffs your attack the most. Anyways, if you liked the video, feel free to leave a like since it really helps me out. If you didn't like the video for some reason, you should leave a like anyways and tell me why. And be sure to sub and tune in next time I complain about the new heroes.